Welcome in Rare Crew, day one here of Rare Evo, currently taking place in Las Vegas, Nevada at Caesars Palace. To my left, I've got Ben representing the Multiverse X platform. Ben, how are you? It's awesome to be here. Great to be here uh, and uh, love the energy of the people. It seems like a few of them survived the last evening Yes, with double it, the money. It has been quite the ride and I'm ready right, for this to wrap up so I can actually enjoy some of that fun there with you all. Now let's get to business. 100%. What is Multiverse X for anybody who hasn't heard of it? Multiverse X is probably the most advanced and scalable blockchain architecture in the world. Live, open source, very decentralized, more than 3,600 validator nodes, processing more than uh, 100,000 transactions per second, and now preparing for some of the biggest upgrades since Genesis. Wow, okay. Now, what are you contributing in particular to the network? So, um, I'm the co-founder and CEO of the Multiverse X Labs company um, and also part of the foundation. So the, the most important thing that we're focusing at this point is building this massive upgrade that we call Supernova. Supernova is bringing sub-second finality to the wow. network. Sub-second finality means that we'll have 600 millisecond blocks and transactions so that whatever you do as a user or as a developer, you simply push once and then boom, it's done. It just um, completed the entire process and so on. So I think with Supernova, everything we've built up until this point comes to the point where it feels like magic for both users and developers. So we're extraordinarily excited about that. Yeah, rightfully so. Sub-second finality, that's unheard of. Now I've got to ask from a practical standpoint, you know, what use cases do you have in mind for this kind of tech? 100%. So we already have some really great builders that are building, for instance, DeFi. We have now two lending platforms. There's Hatom, quite, quite part of the ecosystem for a long time one of the largest, um, the largest actually lending platforms on Multiverse X. Then we have Soxno, that, that is a new lending platform opening right now, leveraging both liquid staking and then all the tools that exist within the ecosystem. There's, in addition to that, uh, super apps like Exportal that just simplify experience, enable anyone on the street to simply take the app um, buy a bunch of tokens, stake them, and be part of this journey, but then also access dApps within the ecosystem. There's more than um, two and a half million or three million users already on Exportal. Um, uh, Hatton exceeded at some point $250 million in total value locked within the ecosystem. And there's probably 50 to 100 applications in several different other fields, either among DeFi or real-world applications that are being built on the network. So that said, looking at the ecosystem as it currently stands, you know, what are some of the big names that like you're familiar with? So the 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 flagship of the ecosystem, if I were to uh, look at them, are a few of the things that no one else has done. For instance, we have the government of Romania having deployed the one and only, I think, institutional NFT platforms uh, within the ecosystem, bringing in some of the most important artists from Europe, um, deploying some projects within the governmental space in a way that has not been done before. Uh, we're really excited about that. Those are interesting experiments and it's great to also see not only the US mm -hmm. doing all these interesting um, experiments, but then also people in Europe, um, in some of these countries. Then DeFi, I believe, is going to probably 10x to 100x during the next period, just because in some sense, this is the most obvious transformation. We're taking assets that were analog, we're making them not only digital, but tokenized. By having them tokenized, we simply unlock a lot more yield, a lot faster movement, and then accessibility to people. So the DeFi space, I feel, is going to go through the just 
accessing much more liquidity. That's simple and obvious. But then in addition to that, there's platforms that just simplify DeFi in a way that you don't need to understand rocket science. You don't need to care about that. What you want is I have $100 and then I can either stake it, play with it as part of the ecosystem and see what it can provide for me. So the yields that you can discover right now in the DeFi space, I think is very sexy and very exciting. And I I'd encourage anyone that is looking at this, obviously, to, to check that out. I feel these are the two most interesting directions. There's the gaming space mm -hmm. that we have a few really cool, really sexy, really interesting games. But then one of the biggest things that we're preparing in addition to the infrastructure play mm -hmm. is a kind of radical shift on distribution. Because to be very honest, I believe that almost nothing else matters other than distribution. So you figure out distribution, everything else realigns into what you're building. And to do this, we've just unlocked and unveiled this great tool called VibeOx. Mm -hmm. And VibeOx is this simple AI tool that enables anyone to take their ideas and deploy them with a speed that is unparalleled. How does it work? Where it just takes Vibe coding, you have AI, some prompts, and then you can essentially deploy your applications in minutes or hours rather than months or years. I believe this may be one of the most significant shifts that essentially, I think 100Xs or 1000Xs, the number of ideas that anyone can bring into reality. Um, second, it just changes the idea of what the builder is. Right now, we have a bottleneck that is limited by the number of developers. Well, how do we remove that bottleneck completely? Well, we give this AI tools to anyone, wherever they may be, to essentially speak with the AI in English. And then the AI translates this into an application. So not only number of ideas that come into reality get 100x or 1000x, the number of builders gets 100x or 1000x because right now it's not only devs that can be builders, but anyone in the world. And then the time to market, which I believe is the most important limiting factor, is just 100x or 1000x because right now you don't need to wait for someone to explain them your idea, to wait for that. If they understand it's good, if they delay you for months and months and months in a row, um, you just um, never see your idea coming to reality. With VibeOx, people can just open this app, write some idea, hey, I want to build this lending platform or this finance app, because maybe you don't even want to discuss about the blockchain and crypto jargon. With this, I believe we're going to see not only a massive shift in adoption, but actually a shift in how we think about things. Because I believe we've spent too much time in just discussing about only the technology stuff, only the crypto or blockchain jargon, only the same people moving from one blockchain or one protocol to the other. And it's refreshing to be able to go outside and say, hey, do you have a dream? Have you ever thought about building something that you'd love with which you can make some money or just for yourself to make it simple? Well, take this tool and you can do it right now. There's no need to wait for something else, invest millions of dollars and so on. So we're super excited about that because it in some sense shifts the focus from this breakthrough technology to the user. And maybe the user is the only thing that matters. If we can get some more of those users, I'm sure everyone here and everyone everywhere will be much more happy. Yeah. Ken, that was massive. And I was going to ask about AI, but you literally, you beat me to it. You know, AI has been transforming a lot. 
speeding things up and essentially leveling the playing field. That is massive. And I'm excited for what you guys are doing with Vibe OX. Um, as we are to close things out here, Ben, for anybody who wants to join the Multiverse X universe, how can they do that? Just uh, Multiverse X, um, buy some e-gold, stake some e-gold. I'm sure you'll discover the great community we have. Um, people are out there just waiting to um, welcome the people in, show them some of the applications that exist. But if I were to boil down to the simplest first step, I think getting some eagled and staking it just gives them this first glimpse into what's happening next. So they can do that through Xportal or just visiting multiversex.com. Perfect. Easy and simple enough. Ben giving us the alpha here. Again, wishing him, the team, um, the best, right, with these big upgrades. But if you're interested in finding out more about it, as he's mentioned, check out that link. And that will do it here for today's update and interview, diving into the Multi First X universe. Again, Ben, thank you for your time. Thank you very much, man.